All right, what's going on guys and gals? Eros here and welcome to Share Factory Studio on the PlayStation 5. A lot of people have been asking me what is Share Factory like on the new system and for the most part it's pretty much exactly the same like the PS4 version. There are definitely some improvements but for the most part it works exactly the same. You do have like new intros and some new editing effects um, which is pretty cool. However, there are some games that don't work on Share Factory Studio. So games like Fortnite, it actually won't let me edit the video um, in this app. But games like Spider-Man, you can edit freely, no problem. So these are the current intros and packs they've got. Um, the store, like the certain store that's related to uh, Share Factory, is actually not available at the moment of this video being up. So we got like. You got all this like kind of cool stuff here. So let's just select that anime intro. And then um, what we'll do is, so you still have your whole listing here, most recent, alphabetical and stuff like that. We'll go by game and we will select. So I'll show you, yeah, see, so if I click on Fortnite, it says the video is not supported, which is a bit strange. I don't know if other games are going to be like that too, that aren't solely PS5 games, if that makes any sense at all. Fortnite did get a PS5 update, but it's not compatible on Share Factory. It's a bit of a shame if you needed to like edit something out or wanted to make the clip shorter. Um, but if I click on Spider-Man Miles Morales, you can easily edit clips here. So all these little short ones, these are actually uh, clips of saved uh, trophy achievements because the PS5 can save trophies now uh, which is pretty good so you can save the last 15 seconds or 30 seconds of a clip you can still rename as well um, also if you save clips on your console um, you can actually rename them from your media gallery which is pretty cool so on the PS4 you um, it will just come up with like a randomly generated name with all those numbers and stuff, um, you can actually change that now. So, which is uh, pretty cool. So you can actually name your clips and stuff like that. So when you go to upload it to YouTube, you already pretty much have a title set and everything like that. So it all works exactly the same. But the Share Factory itself looks really nice um, because it's displaying in 4K and with HDR as well, where the uh, PS4 and PS4 Pro didn't do that. They displayed in HD, but not 4K HDR, so you can definitely tell a difference. Um, also, Share Factory Studio will let you create videos and share them in 4K and HDR. You can also even turn it off from the app as well, which is pretty cool for some reason if you do want to upload in that. Um, we'll play around here with this and I'll show you some stuff here. So, pretty easy. You still have all the same menus here. Add clip, screenshot, tracks, music. Um, etc. We'll go to transitions. You might see some new ones. So these are those Those anime ones as I said the store itself isn't available at the moment. I don't know if I can see that from here uh, Yeah, maybe not but yeah the store itself isn't available at the moment so they don't have um, Any other themes you can download, but I'm sure we will get an update soon and Go add other stuff. But yeah, they've got some cool animations here. Explosion. Glass break. So yeah, lots of stuff here. Let's go with... I reckon we'll go... So these are cinematic, then you still have your dissolvable ones. Which I'm pretty sure these are all the same. I'm pretty sure. Might be a few different ones. Wipes. I've never really used the wipes before. So they could be a little bit different. I'm not sure. So these are all... All the ones available. Then you have Comic. Which, uh, that'd probably actually be really good for... To make these Spider-Man clips. 
but I kind of want to use one of these new ones. Let's go with this one. Yeah, so that's the same as per normal. Where did it go though? Oh, I don't think I could add it there after an intro. Alright, so we'll add transition here. We'll add this one. Oops, oh, because I pressed cancel. That makes sense. Um, confirm. Alright, so we added that clip, that one there. I wonder, can you add them for every clip? So playback, time bender, edit overlays. So you can edit this transition. Delete, set volume. I don't know if there's a way that you can actually set the same transition after every clip. That's okay. It doesn't take that long to do. So add transition. Alright, so those are all the clips there that I want. And those are along with all the transitions. Let's, uh, let's play this out and let's see what it looks like. So... Alright, that was pretty nice. I really like how these look. And it pops with the trophy itself. Another one. That was just for completing something. Launch, swing, and dive. Oh, yeah, this is for getting uh, spectacular. Yeah. Overcharge. We're doing something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe uh, I think for getting kills with. Uh, the Venom Punch there. Alright, so those are all the clips there. Then you could add an intro uh, if you really wanted to. And then sharing wise, um, it's all the same. I feel like the, this share factory is uh, definitely a lot better. It feels a lot smoother too. Um, not clunky at all. Sometimes the videos used to lag in, the, in share factory back on the PS4 when editing. But for the most part, it's extremely smooth. I haven't had any problems um, using this new share factory and uh, it all works the same when it comes to sharing so save project export the gallery um, export settings so this is actually if you wanted to change the video quality so most efficient obviously would be uh, 1080 but I've got set in the middle here so it keeps that 4k resolution um, but if I wanted to tone it down then I could but um, it's pretty cool that it actually gives you the option to uh, to change the resolution. So I don't know, I guess if you had like a big video you wanted to post, because um, it does take a long time to upload these 4K videos. So it's good that it gives you the option. But uh, yeah, this has been a little introduction on uh, what Share Factory Studio looks like on the PS5. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the new Share Factory down in the comment section. But uh, other than that guys, take care of yourselves and I will see you all in the next one.